Okay, this lesson is on adverb clauses and it is on page 148. Again, it is mostly review, but it can get a little confusing. Just make sure that you're following along with the definitions and exercise examples. So for your warm-up, you're going to define what an adverb is. So pause the video and define adverb. You are correct if you said it is a word that modifies a verb, adjective, or other adverb. And now I have three example sentences that I want you to look at. Zach finished. This is a complete sentence. It's got a subject and a verb. Zach finished early. Early is an adverb. It's describing when he finished. Zach finished before the due date. This is actually an adverb phrase because it has a preposition but it's still answering when he finished. So it's still modifying a verb before the due date. And the last one is an adverb clause. Zach finished after the report was due. So yes, after is a preposition, but this is a clause because it's acting as a subordinating conjunction here. And we're gonna get into all of those examples more vividly. So an adverb clause is a dependent clause that modifies a verb, adjective, or other adverb. I pulled that straight from the page on 148. They tell where, when, why, in what way, to what extent, or under what condition. And they typically start with subordinating conjunctions. And our acronym for remembering those is AWUBIS. So those are words like after, while, um, until, because if there's a whole chart on page 148, so you can look at that. Now here's some examples. If you want to build better comprehension skills before high school, join the Outsiders Book Club. So this is a dependent clause. You need the other part of the sentence to understand if you want to build better comprehension skills before high school, Okay, it starts with a subordinating conjunction and it's asking in what way you could build better comprehension skills. Here's another example. I started this book club so that you could read an awesome book and stop playing video games all day. So is acting as a subordinating conjunction. This is a dependent clause and it describes why I started. So it modifies the verb. Therefore, it's an adverb clause. Feel free to zoom me if you have any questions. I'm going to do three examples from exercise one. So remember that you could pause the video and test yourself to see if you can identify these adverb clauses. So what I would do is I would look for the subordinating conjunction or look for a comma because that shows that it's a dependent clause. And it would be everything that comes before the comma. So number one, it says, although it is almost extinct, the Florida panther is the state animal of Florida. So it's the first part of that sentence. Although is a subordinating conjunction, so I underlined it. Although it is almost extinct. Okay. And number two, the panther became endangered because its habitat was destroyed. So because is a subordinating conjunction because its habitat was destroyed. And that's describing why they became endangered. So it's acting as an adverb clause. And the last one, oops, I showed the answer. Unless drastic action is taken, according to some concerned environmentalists, the panther will surely become extinct. So unless is a subordinating conjunction. Unless drastic action is taken, cannot stand alone. Therefore, it is an adverb clause.